Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter, boom, 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 review stuff. We are family. I got all my reviewers with me. How are you guys doing, all my reviewers out there of the world? I'm listening to a little Sister Sledge, We Are Family 1979, on the 7 Pop 7 Pop 7 70s on 7. And right before that was Wasted Again in Margaritaville. <laughs> my voice today. I need my coffee! Creaky Halloween door. Do you ever have one of those days that you are just in such a great mood? I know that you can't see me because I'm in a dark place right now. <laughs> That's a joke from my drama channel because all these big YouTubers, when they always come out and say that they're in a dark place. So since you can't see me because of the shadows, I'm in a dark place. Don't even worry about it. Anyway, I am in such a good mood today. Uh, I was sitting on the back patio, shirtless, large margin targe, trying to get some... Uh, sun rays because I'm like it is July and I have no sun yet on my body and I like to be tan so I am trying to get some sun but then I was like you know what like I want to try a new a refreshing drink from Starbucks and they're supposed to have these drinks coming out this week um my nephew told me is this person want to go through or what's she doing you gonna go around or I don't know what you're doing honey okay so she's gonna let me go first so she's so sweet so kind thank you Anyway, um, they're supposed to have these new drinks, but I haven't seen them yet. Um, can I get a Venti iced coffee with uh, one equal, please? Venti iced coffee with one equal. I forgot what equal looks like. There it is. <laughs> All right. Anything else for you? Yeah. Do you know what a matcha lemonade is? Matcha lemonade. Uh, oh. Have I tried it with what? I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so my, my friend was asking is, do you, have you ever tried it with a pineapple and ginger? Is that one of your already made drinks? Yeah. Which one is it? Really? Okay, Peter, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Okay, so it's a matcha lemonade is an already made drink. And they were asking if you wanted to try it with a pineapple match, uh, pineapple ginger syrup. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, what size? Okay, uh, let's do a grande. A grande. Anything else for you? <laughs> no, that's it. Thank you. All right, we'll see you at the window. Okay, thanks. My lord, there's a lot going on in the Starbucks tonight. <laughs> I think this has now become a drink that I've already reviewed on here, but. I looked up refreshing drinks on Starbucks and there's like 10 drinks that came up that they already have on their menu and like five of them I haven't tried. And so one of them, I don't know how I keep on losing points on this app. I guess it's because I don't use the points or whatever. But, um, so one of the drinks was a matcha lemonade. Well, I've never tried the matcha lemonade. So I thought, well, I'll try the matcha lemonade. So now these people are, I guess it's become something that it, something completely different. But you know what? We're gonna just roll with it. Hey, how are you? Hi, great. Sorry, you keep asking these new people questions. <laughs> well, I actually was trying to be really simple You're today, okay, and I no. looked it up online. It's okay. Sometimes, you know. It's Thank you so much. Have a good one. All right. This drink that I ordered, just to be clear, the matcha lemonade, I looked it up online. And, um, cause the drink that I looked up 10 refreshing, I was like refreshing drinks at Starbucks cause I wanted to do like a refreshing, you know, summer drink. And, um, it like listed 10 refreshing drinks that they already have on their menu. So the matcha lemonade is a drink that they already like, like she just said, like it's a drink that we already have. So now I, I don't, I have no idea what they just added to it. <laughs> <laughs> ginger ginger root or something. Did you guys ever see that documentary, Fat, Stick, and Nearly Dead? Oh my God. Okay, so let me just tell you about that documentary. First of all, everything you drank on that diet looks just like this. Okay, so let's get a let's get a deal here. Let's get a deal. Let's make a deal. So anyway, if you haven't seen this show. 
It's a documentary. I think it's still on the Netflix. And it's called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. Oh my god, I started watching Grace and Frankie again. I forgot how much I love that show. Anyway, I'm like two episodes in. But I'm of the last season, because I'm already, I'm trying to catch up with all my shows so that when they, you know, bring out new seasons of shows. I want, I'm ready for Pose. I think they stopped filming though because of the COVID. And, oh, Rod Stewart, Maggie Mae is playing. I love that song. I swear to God, I'm listening to this station, the 70s and the 80s, and it just takes me back to, like, yesterday, I was listening to the 80s, and it was like, I actually sang both of these songs on my drama channel, but it was like, um, every rose has its thorn. Don't I do a really good version of that? Okay, and then it was, um, pour some sugar on me. <laughs> do you know what is so funny is, that those glam rock, like, hair band people, like, I did not like those bands when I was growing up. Like, Def Leppard and all that. Like, I was not into that at all when I was, oh, look, there's a trash can right here. But, well, recycle always. Um, I was not into those, like, glam rock hair bands when I was growing up. I need a sip of coffee first. So, anyway, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead is this, um, what do you call it? It's this, um documentary about this guy and he's from Australia and he's on like nine different medications and he has all of these different kind of like diagnoses like physical diagnoses diseases and things like that and so he starts researching juicing now I will tell you that I have a really good friend of mine that is really into raw foods and she actually um I think she had Lyme disease that she cured through raw foods. She dates somebody that's kind of like a big deal in like the health, the, the naturopathic health world. So if you know anything about that, I've talked about it on my vlog. My good Judy from like 30 years ago, she's still one of my dear friends today. She dates him and they go around the world and they solve the world's problems with naturopathic medicine. So anyway, no, but true story, she does. And um, so, because I had talked to her at the time about juicing, because I was like, I'm going to do this juicing. And she's like, you have to be really careful of that because a lot of the foods that you get, um, like, if you're juicing it, you're taking out the nutrients, you're taking out the fiber, you're taking out all of those things that your body needs, those essential nutrients that your body needs. Well, anyway, before I get into that, let me just say, because I did a raw foods diet, too, for a month, and it was the best I ever felt in my entire life, the absolute best. I have ever felt in my entire life was doing a raw foods diet. I slept better. I woke up every single day and I was like alert. And so a raw foods diet is you eat all raw food. You don't cook it. You don't do anything to it. You can't use any ingredients that are cooked. So basically it's like bananas straight, just like a banana, like mangoes, just fresh cut mangoes. I ate a lot of fruit. I ate a lot of vegetables and I would make salads and um, like with no salad dressing and stuff like that. And I would put like, you know, uh, nuts and berries and lettuce and all kinds of stuff in it. And it was, I actually got really used to it. But the thing that's really crazy about it is the more raw foods your body eats, the more it craves raw foods. So you're literally spending, I mean, I was going through like a bunch of bananas, like a, you know, like in a day. Cause I could eat like a bunch, like a whole bunch of bananas, not a bunch, but you know, like, like when you call it, a, you know what I'm saying, but anyway. But it was the best I ever felt in my entire life. So anyway, and then I stopped it because Thanksgiving. <laughs> True story, Thanksgiving. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to skip it for just a day. And I went over to Alex's uh, aunt's house for Thanksgiving, and she was so nice. And she had made me, like, this plat platter of, like, fruit, raw fruits and vegetables to eat for, about, for Thanksgiving. And they were all eating, like, stuffing and mashed potatoes. And I was like, I can't do this. And I told her, I said, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But I'm sorry, I need some stuffing. <laughs> that was the end of it. But it was the best I've ever felt in my entire life, true story. Um, but I will tell you that I did do the juicing from uh, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead because it, he says in there, not only do you lose weight like massively quick, right? But it also takes away all these diagnoses. And one of the things he talks about in there is migraines. And I suffer from migraine disorder because I have epilepsy. I have juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. I don't know if you know that. But anyway, I have epilepsy. And so I have migraine disorder associated with epilepsy. And he said that if you do this, it'll take away your migraines. And this one woman, she does it. And like on day two or three, she's like, oh my God, I haven't had a migraine. I can't believe it. So I was like, I will try anything. So I did this juicing and I can't remember what the juice is called. It's something like the deadly curse or something. Oh, the mean green, the mean green. I can't believe I remember that. And it looks just like this, okay? 
And basically, I have it probably somewhere in my phone saved because I used to make it so much in the, in the uh, juice. Our, our whole house smelled like this juice. It was kale, apple, celery, ginger root. Ginger root goes into every single one of these things because I think it speeds up your metabolism. But once you put ginger root in anything, it tastes like a Bloody Mary. Um, I mean, truly it does. I can't remember what else, but there was like six things that you put in there. It was really expensive to make. Like every other day I was spending like $30, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I mean, when you're just talking about that. And then you drink like these six times a day. I was so hungry. I was, it was of the devil. I literally, I, I thought like I was like, you wanna talk about these cleanses and these detoxes? Like, I mean to tell you, I shed like 14 pounds in like literally a matter of like five days. I did. And people can say it was water weight gain or whatever. No, it was starvation. I was totally, I was hungry. My body wasn't getting what it needed. So that's what this reminds me of. <laughs> Cheers, let's see what I think. really good I mean I love matcha the matcha isn't too strong in it honestly it's really good I don't know okay it tastes like lemonade mixed with like you know like when you do the green juices that you buy at the store, you know what I'm talking about, like, and then you feel real healthy? It kind of tastes like lemonade mixed with that. It's really good. It tastes super refreshing. I would absolutely get this again, and it would make me feel healthy. It's really good. I can't believe how much I like it. I'm going to give this a 4.8 out of 5. Like, this is super, super refreshing, and it feels super healthy, too. So, okay, you want to get a matcha lemonade, and you want to add the ginger, uh, the ginger fluid to it, or whatever, the ginger juice. I don't know what you call it, anyway. Let me know what you think. Go try one of these. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.